Okay, so what I'm talking about today is a molecule called carvone. And carvone is an organic molecule which comes in a couple of different forms. And these different forms are called stereoisomers. So what stereoisomers are, it's two different forms of the exact same molecule, but the difference is the molecules are just arranged slightly differently. Carvone comes in these two forms. Uh, this form of carvone has a minus sign in front of it, and this one has a plus sign in front of it. They look the same. They're both yellow liquids, but there's a crucial difference between the two. Both of these types of carvone smell differently. One of them smells like caraway, and the other smells like spearmint. You'll have to take my word for that, but they definitely do. This one definitely does smell like spearmint. And this is what contributes to the, uh, the smell of spearmint. Um, this form of the molecule is in uh, mint, and obviously this one gives you the smell of caraway seeds. But the, the reason that they're different, and this is the important bit, these two forms are actually mirror images of each other. So you can think of this like your hands. Your hands, you have a right hand and a left hand, your hands are mirror images of each other. You cannot overlay your right hand on your left hand. You always have your thumb sticking out here in the wrong place. And it's exactly the same with this molecule. You can switch this molecule around so it looks the same down here, but because of this hydrogen here, it's not the same. That's what makes the difference. So these are mirror images of each other these two molecules, these two forms of this molecule, and they're called enantiomers. So on YouTube, obviously, I can't show you the smell of these two different forms of carbon, but I can show you something over here, because enantiomers, these enantiomers, will do something actually very interesting with light. And what I have here is a uh, polarizing filter. If I put my two different enantiomers onto it, if you look here, as I rotate this filter over the sample of carbon, you can see that at particular angles, one of the samples will let the light through, whereas the other one won't, it looks black. And then at different angles, the other sample lets the light through. There's an enormous number of what we call chiral molecules in nature. And examples are amino acids and proteins. They are all chiral molecules. DNA is another example where um, you usually have a right-handed uh, spiral rather than a left-handed spiral. So nature is particularly fond of particular forms of these chiral molecules.